Hello, Cancers, and happy Valentine's Day. Um, Cancers, welcome back to the channel, Luma Moon Tarot. I am here to do your daily love update, my darlings, but it's also Valentine's Day, and I have the winning names for the decks uh, for the giveaway today. Today is the Valentine's giveaway. I've got your winning names. So before we get started on your reading, um, let me show you who won, right? Okay, Cancers. <laughs> I love the Valentine's Day giveaway because it's so much fun for me. All right, Cancers. Um, whoever wanted the Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas deck, right? The winner is Allison Sharp. Sharpie Sharp. Allison Sharp. Okay. Um, Allison, uh, all the winners today... Uh, send me an email um, with an address, a an address, doesn't have to be your address, any address that I can send your gift to, right? Um, email me at lumenmoontarot at gmail.com, okay? Um, so that I can get these out for you. I'll probably wait like a week um, to try to get as many names as I can together, and then I'll send them out for you guys. All right, so uh, the Villains deck. Right, the Disney Villains deck. Uh, the lucky winner is Eli Ray. Eli Ray. Okay. Uh -huh. I love it. The Cat Tarot. Who wanted the Cat Tarot? Right? Everybody say I. I like all of these decks. So, um, okay, so the winner of the Cat Tarot for today's giveaway is Ida Imes. Ida Imes. Uh, send me an email, guys. LumenMoonTarot at gmail.com. Let me know what address to send this, these gifts to, okay? Um, all right, the winners of the Lightseer's Tarot. The Lightseer's Tarot goes to Chanty F. Chanty F, okay? Email me. Email me an address so I can get that out for you. Congratulations, guys. All right, and the Tarot of the Divine, which actually, <laughs> the Tarot of the Divine, oh my gosh, there were so many names, for, uh, so many people who wanted this one. It is actually my favorite out of all, out of, all of these. I'm gonna order it for myself. Um, but there were so many people who wanted this deck. I might just buy like oodles of them next year. I don't know. We'll have to see because I want to give cash prizes next year. You know? Um, Tarot of the Divine goes to Tex, Texina. Texina Taxi Link. Taxi Link. Texina Taxi Link. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. Texina Taxi Link. Um, so anyway, guys, yeah, congratulations, Taxina. Congratulations, congratulations, Chanty F. Um, Ida Imes. Uh, Eli Ray. And Allison Sharp. You guys are the lucky winners of the Valentine's Day giveaway. It's kind of sad that it's over, though. I think we should do like cash giveaways more often. Like, start doing those. What? Tell me what you guys think. <laughs> I'm gonna get a lot of comments for that one. But yeah, I think we should. You know, it's fun. It's fun, right? So why not? All right. So cancers. I don't have anything shuffled yet. Guys, um, it's Valentine's Day, and what better decks to use than, number one, the baby deck, right? Um, who can argue with that? Baby deck for Valentine's Day. But I also have this beautiful little Italian deck, okay? Um, I don't remember where I got it, but it's, it's just, it's cute as a button. I mean, they have it in... It looks like it's in like three different languages, but we're going to see what we get. It's Valentine's Day, guys, um, and your person, I'm surprised they can even still function. Um, honestly, you know, they're not taking very good care of themselves, I don't think. I think they're losing a lot of sleep. 
I think they've been dreaming about you. Um, well, yeah, I know they have been. Fantasizing. I'm surprised they're not walking into walls at this point, Cancer, right? Uh, yeah, cross watchers, if you've walked into any walls, please leave a comment. I want to know. All right, so let's see what we got. Okay. Flawdiness, young woman. You guys might be out today um, dressed up, having a good time, um, really putting on your best, right? Right? I know I, for one, am, am going to take some time for myself today. So, yeah, I, I feel like you guys could be getting all dolled up, maybe going to some kind of event. Like, you're doing something fancy for yourself, a lot of you. Um, taking yourselves out to dinner, treating yourselves to a fancy new dress or a piece of jewelry or some perfume. Um, for you men, uh, you, you know, you're going out getting colognes too, maybe hitting the town. I feel like you guys are putting on your best and going out there and having fun and enjoying your Valentine's Day. Yep, that's kind of what I'm feeling. Yeah, you're t this is what I'm seeing. Normally you're like this, right? Kind of, kind of doing everything. You're, you're, you kind of serve other people, whether it's um, people in your life that you're close to or your family or just working. You know what I mean? And I feel like you're dropping all of that. I feel like Cancer, you're dropping that tray that you're carrying there. You're changing your dress. You're going out. You're looking good. You're looking fancy. You're like, you know what? I'm going to treat myself to some luxuries today. Yep. That's what you're doing. All right. So let's see what else. And you know, honestly, yeah, thank you. Um, they just told me of something I used to say a long, long time ago. I've said it to, um, I've, well, I've said it to my kids. I've said it to my exes. I've said it to a lot of people, you know, uh, don't put off fun to go clean the garage, right? So like whatever today, Today, I feel like you guys need to treat yourselves. They just showed me that so that I feel like that's a message for somebody out there. Don't, you know, don't uh, not have any fun just to do your chores or to do getting a lot of stuff done. By the time you finish cleaning out your inbox, the day's going to be over, man. I feel like you guys need to go out, put on a awesome new dress or something, something fancy, right? Fancy, schmancy, see? And go out there and show yourselves off, you know, for real. Put down that serving tray, right? Stop, you know, whatever can, can, you can put off, you know, just do, do you today, if you can, if you can, right? I'm not telling you guys to skip out of work or anything, but you know what? I think you guys deserve to have some play time. All right. Um, yeah, and it, it, it's singles, right? Singles. I, I feel like you guys are, you know, and you are going to dress up. You are going to go out. You may have your moment where you're like, oh, some of you are feeling kind of lonely and alone. Um, but yeah, but you're, I think you're doing okay. I think you need to spend some time on yourself, all right? And really treat yourself. What's this? Yeah. Don't let don't let any kind of sadness or sad thoughts ruin your day or spoil your time, right? We've got the thief in re in reverse here. Um, yeah. So don't let your time any amount of your time today be spoiled with any negative thoughts, Cancer. You keep your vibes high. You know, you're, you're somebody who knows your worth, right? Yeah. You know your worth, Cancer. You know? I feel like there's someone out here, masculine energy, who could be mourning the loss of you. Um, there could have even been a death. <clears throat> but I feel like this is somebody mourning you here. 
yeah they want to have a conversation <laughs> um yeah they want to have a conversation and spill all of their thoughts they're they're really wanting to talk to you right now uh today okay they're um suffering a loss here feeling like um really sad like it's suffering a bereavement you know what i mean and they want to talk share their thoughts with you this person could be suffering some headaches today um they've got a whole list it's almost like they know they've got a whole list of a long list of things that they need to discuss with you cancer um and they're sitting here like oh, oh no 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 i don't want to do this right that's how they're sitting here like no i don't want to confront all of this crap yeah that's kind of the feeling they want to talk but they're almost like afraid to kind of like with all the things that they did it's almost like they have this feeling of defeat already um let's see what the baby deck has okay what's this oh boy bottom of the deck we've got love keep that one out too yeah this person's thinking about how they love you miss you want to talk to you um on valentine's day they're suffering a huge loss there's like a huge empty space inside of them uh feeling really unfulfilled having headaches maybe even doing some crying because this person i feel like there's someone out there cancer who's in love with you they want to talk to you. They know they've got a long list of stuff to make things to make right with you. Okay. Um, and you're out here looking your best, doing your best. You know, I feel like you guys are going to be treating yourselves today and trying to kind of, I feel like your person's energy is going to be pulling on you a lot. I've been talking about that a lot, guys. Um, I feel like you're going to really feel that at times of the day, um, especially at night. This person's been having a real hard time at night. <laughs> then my video yesterday was so funny, guys. I'm sorry. I'm still, <laughs> I'm still on the that's what she said jokes and stuff, you know. <laughs> oh, okay, so... Yeah, your person, they're, they're suffering a huge loss. They want to communicate here. They're having a headache. They, they're, they're thinking about this love connection with you here, but this person is still with a toxic individual. They've gotten themselves, they're with a toxic person, but they still want a chance with you, a second chance. It's Valentine's Day, you know. Love and indecision is in the air, right, Cancer? Yeah, it's they've caused a lot of destruction with you, though. I feel like this is your guys' connection, and um, I feel like this is what they're thinking about. They want a second chance with you, but have they caused so much destruction with your connection? You know, will they get that second chance, right? Um because they went, I feel like this person may even be committed or, or engaged to this toxic individual here. <laughs> but Cancer, they've fallen in love with you. They're in love with you. Love, love, wanting a second chance, wanting to, to talk, have a conversation with you suffering a loss because they know how much destruction they caused wanting to take a new journey this is a fool card taking a leap of faith right um wanting to start a new journey here but they're they're with someone else in a commitment and it's a toxic commitment you know yeah Yeah, I feel like this person has like in and out kind of patterns about them that you're supposed to be careful about. Um, they do come in and out. I feel like um, they'll start something and then end it before it even gets going strong, right? 
Um, and they do this, they may have done this with a lot of people, but with you, they've made so many mistakes that all of this, th it's, this is a celebration gone bad here. Um, but they, they want to come in. They want to, they still want to talk to you. So what's going on with this toxic situation then? Because this person can't stop thinking about you. You're their six of cups. Um... And I feel like they're watching you kind of move forward. You guys could even be on vacation today. I'm seeing some travel here for you. Or coming up maybe. Um, someplace warm, maybe by a beach. Yeah. This person, they're keeping their feelings a secret. Okay? They're keeping this a secret, but they're energetically bug-eye panicked calling out to you okay um with all their might kind of they, they just want to try to get your attention but they're trying to keep it a secret and i feel like they're keeping it a secret because they're wrapped up in something toxic with someone toxic still you know this is a pattern for them that in and out crap that they may have given you promises you know uh plans for the future kind of thing and then yeah thank you sorry thank you divine yeah they're watching you too okay so plans so i feel like in the past this person really deceived you like maybe they um tried to get you believe to believe that they you know wanted forever with you or they wanted to plan some great things in life with you or they you know they loved you and all of the, you know, the things that they said to you, right? It all seemed to be empty promises, like broken promises, things they didn't actually mean. I feel like um, you guys were going great. It was, it was doing good while you were together the first time. This is definitely someone from your past, right? Um, and then all of a sudden, you know, it was going good, going good, going good. And then it just stops, right? You see that? It just stops. And I feel like this person made you a bunch of promises, abandoned you, just kind of ghosted you and left. And uh, now it's to the point where, thank you. It's to the point where, can this even be fixed, right? Can this even be fixed? I feel like they're watching you too, like a hawk, Cancer, everything that you do. They could have even like their friends are watching you as well okay um so basically whatever it is that you're posting uh any pictures any kind of posts anywhere online this person is watching what you're doing so if you're like out there today and you're looking all hot and you post your photos they're gonna see them cancer okay just so you know what else can you show me here for cancer Congratulations to all the winners of the decks. I got really fun decks this year. I feel like you're going to feel this person. You might even feel like eyes are on you, like everybody's watching you. you you're, I feel like you're going to pick up on their energy. Um, so you may have, mo like, there's like sighs here, you know, huh? Momentary feelings of sadness, thinking about your person. Just know this. When you're thinking of your person, like if you're out enjoying a good time and then all of a sudden out of the blue, you start like, oh, I'm so sad about my person, right? That That's when they're thinking about you, okay? Just try to remember that. When, when you're thinking about them, more than likely it's because they're thinking about you. Um, I feel like this person had like third party situations, you know, in and out energy, other options. And now it's to the point where um, they want you so bad here, Cancer. They're watching you. They want to, this is unfinished business and they want to finish it. They want a second chance with you. They're saying goodbye to like all the other options that this person could have possibly had around them. They're saying goodbye. There's a lot of, um, yeah, and they're drowning in their emotions here. Drowning, all kinds of beat up. 
I feel like the the people that the other options that they got with kind of did them wrong, okay? Or they just weren't you, one of the two. And now this person's really sad, right? Um, suffering like a like a loss, a huge loss, bereavement, sadness, um, depression, right? Drowning in their emotions, sadness, kind of feeling beat up, defeated, um, watching you, keeping how they feel a secret still, but energetically calling out to you, okay? So doing a lot of thinking, a lot of concentrating on you, Cancer. They quite simply can't stop thinking about you. Um, really, really sad. It's a very emotional day for your person. You're doing all right, Cancer. You're like spending some time with yourself, um, going out on your own here, right? Um, maybe even with a friend, but they're, I feel like they're in a commitment that's toxic. Um, and deep down inside though, they're losing it. They're losing it. Um, yeah, like I said, you, you're doing all right. You've healed from this. Um, you're, you're dressed. I see you as being all fancied up. You may even go to, through, um, two wardrobe changes today. Count them. Two. I'm telling you, one, two, maybe even three. So, like, you kind of got it going on today, okay? But, um... But your person, they're they're really emotional, crying. This is this is like a hurricane of tears here. Um, it's kind of hammering them today, okay? Um, and here you are, just being peaceful. I mean, look, peaceful, peaceful, calm, serene. Maybe even on a vacay, going through a couple um wardrobe changes right yeah for jumping from one plan to the next maybe or uh doing something great in the morning working in the afternoon then going out later whatever it is for you but yeah i i'm telling you i'm betting you're gonna have two to three wardrobe changes today right um but yeah you're you could be out in the public eye today as well uh, helping other people, healing others, looking fabulous, looking beautiful, gorgeous, right? That's your energy, very peaceful, very calm. <laughs> but your person's energy, not so much. They could be very envious. This is envy, jealousy. Um, this can be anger, moments of like bouts of anger. This is really mostly jealousy. I feel like this person's jealous. They're, they're, they're with a toxic individual here that they went and got committed to, okay? All the other options they are saying goodbye to. But, um, but as for you, they're, they're watching you, okay? As often as they can, watching whatever you're posting, whatever you're putting out there. Um, you could be putting, like, being out in the public eye, right? They're watching you do that, whatever it is that you're doing. Um, they're watching you be peaceful, happy, calm, serene. I mean, you're an empath. You're a healer. You're having a good day. You're out here dressing up, and you're, you're kind of busy today. And, um, and they're seeing it, and they're envious because you're out here being free, single, beautiful, and peaceful, and they're not. Okay, they're not. They're, they're jealous. They may even, with all your wardrobe changes and everything, they may even be thinking that you have some dates. Some of you do. Some of you are going out on dates tonight after work. Because um, I do see you doing some, some kind of work here. Okay? Um, but afterwards, you're stunning. So some of you have dates, some of you are just taking yourselves out. Um, to handle yourself, use your head. To handle others, use your heart. Um, this person wants to talk, and I feel like they, they know they need to tell you how they feel about you, okay? 
and they they know they need to do something fast because you already don't trust this person you already don't trust them um you're protective of everything that you've created okay uh, and like you could be protecting your family or your children, but like look at you, you're a hard worker and you're protecting everything that's yours. Period. Done. Um, and this person knows it. They, they know that they know they probably only have one chance, one shot at talking to you and possibly getting a second chance. Remember, second chances out here. They know they've got one shot. It's a do or do not. There is no try. There's no room for error here, okay? So this person, I feel like they, they wanna come in, but they're, this is them putting a lot of thought into it because they know there's really no room for error here. They have to come in correctly, and that's it. And And even then, they may not get another chance. So it's kind of like a toss up, like this person, they don't even know what their odds are. Um, and yeah, here's like, this is their odds. I'm hearing odds stacked against them. Odds stacked against them. But the thing is, is it doesn't matter. I feel like if this person needs to tell you how they feel about you, then they need to tell you how they feel about you, no matter what the odds are. You know, so, and they're doing a lot of thinking about this, a lot of thinking about you, Cancer, today. Um, what else can you show me? Yeah, because you're their wish fulfillment. You're their wish, and they want to, they want to, they want to come back in. They want to come back in, Cancer. The thing is, is, can you trust this person, right? They want you to trust them. That's like, they want to come back in. They want you to trust them. You are their wish fulfillment. This is their wish. But here's the thing. What about this person? Okay. Um, let's get some tarot on that one. What about this person? I want to see what's going on with this karmic situation. I love you, Cancers. Happy Love Day, Cancers. Okay. Yeah, this higher font in reverse. Higher font in reverse here with this toxic. The divine's got no part in that. I feel like your person chose the devil over you and the divine is not, um, yeah, they, they, that's a toxic situation. You're the queen of cups. Here you are. Yeah. And your person, I feel like they're, they're having a really rough time deciding. Um, there's a competition here between, I feel like they put you in a competition. I feel like they put you in a third party cancer and they put you in some kind of freaky competition here between the most loving queen in the deck, which is you, loving, nurturing, kind, giving, everything, and then this person with horns, okay? That's what they did, this toxic individual here. And it turned into like a competition and I don't think you're about competing, like, no. Yeah, I feel like this person had player energy with you. Um, yeah, and a judgment call was made on this blessing. I, you walked away from it, I feel. I feel like they had in and out energy. They played you. I feel like you knew you were played. You walked away. You made a judgment call. So did the divine. The di divine, like, t like, pulled you out of there and kept you isolated, right? I mean, this is the whole journey that we're talking about here. Um, you were the blessing. You were protected, even though it felt like it sucked, right? Right? Because you were played. You were played by this person. Now they want to come back in. Um, but yeah, I feel like 
the divine made a judgment call on this connection. Am I holding this upside down? Um, because this was a this was a divine blessing in love, right? You know that. Um, yeah, and this person put you in a third party and broke your heart. So the divine was like, nope, we're taking it away. We're pulling it back. It's done. Because you didn't deserve that. All you wanted to do was love this person. You would have never hurt this person. You would have never hurt them. You nurtured them. You were always there for them. You cared about them. You thought of them. You were considerate of them. You would have never hurt this person. And I feel like they realize that now, but they're stuck with this toxic individual. But you know what? Here you are, Empress Energy. I feel cancer like um, you're, you, you switched your focus, okay? And you started to um, work on you, put the effort into you, right? You started maybe some kind of creative project that's becoming very abundant. Uh, you've got nine pentacles here. The most you can have in the deck is 10, honey. And that means you've got everything you need. You don't need anything or anyone, really, besides the divine, right? Um, the only thing you don't have is that the right offer from the right person who's going to love you the right way, okay? That's what you don't have yet. Um, and that will make a commitment. So I feel, too, that this person also knows that you're a catch cancer, you're very loving, you're very abundant, you're a healer, an empath, you've got peaceful energy, you're a star. Uh, you're out here being a star, you've got star energy, right? Your wish fulfillment, not just for this person, but you're going to be wish fulfillment for other people as well. And this person knows it. That's one of the reasons why they want to come back around. That's one of the reasons why they're drowning in their sorrows right now. They know they chose poorly. Could be dealing with the Virgo or um, Scorpio here. A fire sign, Taurus. But this is somebody who's put in a lot of thinking in this, right? They've shined the light on all of this, and I, I feel that's because they're watching you. They're watching you come up. They're watching you have a glow up here. They've watched how you've changed. They're seeing how beautiful and lovey, loving energy that you've got, right? Just You're just glowing, and you're, you're a success, and you're a star, and you're on a glow up, and you're financially stable and abundant, and this person's watching. They're watching all of it here, Cancer, knowing that um, they missed their opportunity at a blessing. And they, you know, as they look at this, at these cups too, they know that whatever it is that they're in here, this toxic thing, they know it's not working. I mean, they can feel it. Higher font in reverse. Yeah, and they're doing nothing but watching you, okay? Nothing but watching you, thinking about you on Valentine's Day. You know, what else can you show me? Anything else for cancer? They want to apologize. You could be dealing with the Pisces. This person, you're going to feel their pull, I'm telling you, cancer. Yeah, you're going to you're going to feel their pull wheel of fortune. I feel like the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor, but this is that okay, a cycle has come to an end, guys. It's time for a new cycle to begin. Let's get on it. That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting here. Um I feel like the universe is kind of like sort of kicking your person in the pants trying to get them to close out this cycle properly by speaking up, at least telling how they feel and giving you the apology that you require and deserve, right? Um, no matter what, they, who they choose to be with, I feel like they still have to do the right thing and man up and end this cycle the right freaking way. That's, that's the feeling that I'm getting here.
Okay. Yeah, I feel, and I feel like they're coming. I feel like they're going to put on their Sunday best, right? They're very guarded. Um, I feel like they're very nervous. They're scared because they don't know how you're going to react. They don't know how you feel about them, that kind of thing. But this person knows that they need to come in and, and try to make this right. And I feel like they are. They're going to get in their car or their horse. They could have to travel towards you, Cancer. Um, but for a lot of you, a lot of you, this person is going to try to apologize here. They want to try to have a victory, but the big question is, which I'm not really getting an answer on because they don't really want to talk about it. They don't want to talk about this karmic situation, okay, which is a huge red flag for me, Cancer. So what's going on with this karmic because if they don't want to tell me in this reading, they're not going to want to tell you much about it either. See, they just they just keep love bombing. They just keep love bombing you. They just keep love. You're so gorgeous. You're so beautiful. You're so successful in the public eye. <laughs> right? Yeah. But what's going on with the karmic? What's going on with the karmic then? Use your intuition, right? Yeah, see, they're not telling me. They're not telling me. Absolute silence here. They don't they don't want to talk about that. But here's the thing. They you know, they need to close the cycle out properly. They can't come in and love bomb you and not tell you everything, you know, that you need to know whether or not this is still going on, right? And I feel like they're not really doing anything about it. They're not. They're still kind of hanging here. Uh, at least this person in particular could be dealing with the Pisces, right? Um, and I feel like you're, you should use your intuition, but this to me is saying that they, they really don't want to talk about it. Really. That's what I'm seeing here. They are not going to want to talk about, they're going to want to try to figure out if you have feelings for them. They don't want to answer questions or discuss this other karmic individual that they are looking, it looks to me like they're committed to this person. They don't want to talk about them. They just want to know if they can, if, if, if what are, haha. <laughs> Okay, so they're showing me the, a scene from Dumber and Dumber. They're showing me a scene from Dumber and Dumber where, um, oh God, is it, I don't know which one it is. Sorry about that cancer, my battery died. Anyway, the scene that I saw was from Dumb and Dumber where, um, uh, what's his name? I can't remember his name. Anyway, the, the dark haired guy, I don't remember his name. Anyway, uh, he's like asking this the woman of his dreams that he traveled so far for, you know, what are the what are the chances that you and I could be with each other, right? And she says, Ab about a million to one. And he's like, that means I've got a chance, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, so that's kind of anyway. Yeah, this person just wants to know if they have a chance with you, all right? Uh, I feel like they don't really want to take any major steps right now unless they know if you still have feelings for them, something like that. Because, yeah, they, they put you out in the cold. They put you out in the cold and they know that. So I feel like they're going to come in and tell you how they feel about you, but they want to know how you feel about them, but they, they really don't want to talk about the karmic situation at all, Cancer. So make sure you ask the questions you need to, right? And um, they haven't, they have not made any cuts that I know of. They haven't cut anyone out. They've been procrastinating on making a choice. They've been procrastinating not just on speaking their truth and uh yeah speaking up for themselves right communicating 
but they're procrastinating on making a decision as well. I feel choosing a path, this person still needs to, to decide what it is that they want and they need to act on it, right? Right. Okay, so what else can you show me? Yeah, I feel like they're, they just, um, yeah, I feel like this person really doesn't know what they, they, I feel like they didn't really know what they wanted to work on. I feel like you're, you may end up walking away here. Especially if they don't, if they don't tell you the truth about, you know, if they're available even or not, right? I feel like you are not going to be in a third party situation. No, no. And you notice any of those red flags and I feel like it's done. Remember, they know there is no room for error in this communication. None. It's a do or do not. There is no try kind of situation. I just can't find the card right now. Yeah, they're, they're going to be just watching you, I think, for the next day. You may hear from this person today or tomorrow, something like that. But um, really, mostly what they're doing is watching you. They're watching you. They've been dreaming about you, um, possibly fantasizing about you, right? Um, yeah, doing a lot of thinking. They're all up in their headspace right now. Keeping, keeping how they feel about you a secret, right? Um, not doing anything at all. I feel hanging upside down in this toxic situation that they're in. While you're out here having a good time going through wardrobe changes. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. Truth. Yeah, truth. Anywho, Cancers, that's what I've got for this reading for Valentine's Day. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. Uh, if you guys like this video, please go ahead and click that like button. Give me a big fat thumbs up, right? Um, and thank you to everyone. Uh, guys, all of the new subscribers, there's been a lot of new subscribers. I'm so grateful for all of you. Um, welcome to the family and... Um, Welcome. Thank you for becoming a new Mooney, right? Right? I love that. Uh, uh, anyway, Cancers, I love you guys. Listen, um, congratulations to the winners of the deck, um, or all the decks here. Happy Valentine's Day. Go do something great for yourself, Cancer. You deserve it. And until next time, guys, take care of you. I love you, and peace out.